They're only walking home. Sounds so simple, doesn't it? Walking home. But Sebastian Franklin and Nina Lucas didn't make it home on the evening on the 5th of May. They were attacked and beaten by a bunch of teenagers who didn't like the way Nina was dressed. Seb died from his injuries the following day in hospital. This is a case of joint enterprise murder. We shall present evidence that proves that the two defendants are both at the scene of the crime and that together they kicked Sebastian Franklin to death. And this was the call that you took on Wednesday, May the 5th at 7.29. Can you play the recording, please? Emergency, which service? Ambulance. I need an ambulance. Harbour Street. But where the field, mate? My girlfriend's been beating up. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. You're all right, you? Neil Lucas. You're all right. You're all right. I love you. Lydia Fowler, paramedic. Can you describe the scene as you arrived at the waste ground? The injured couple were on the ground, unconscious. It was obvious that they had been assaulted. You assume this because? They had cuts and bruising to their faces. Both were in a pretty bad way. Tony Shalford, crime scene investigator. And so you took a number of blood samples from the scene of the attack. And what did these blood samples tell you? There was at least 17 metres between the most significant amount of blood from Seb Franklin to the blood samples we found from Nina Lucas. This would seem that there were two separate attacks. Yes, but we can't be sure they happened simultaneously. The blood pattern is consistent that after the attack, Sebastian Franklin crawled over to where Nina Lucas lay and called the emergency services. Professor Hamza Patel, Home Office accredited forensic pathologist. And so, were you able to ascertain the cause of death, Professor Patel? Seb died of a brain hemorrhage consistent with a head trauma. His injuries strongly suggest that he was kicked repeatedly on the body and on the head. There were also injuries on his hands, which are consistent with him attempting to defend himself from the blows. Can you tell how many people might have caused these injuries? Without clear shoe markings or any other evidence, it's just not possible to say with confidence. Uh, just to be clear, Professor Patel, you say you can't be sure exactly how many people were involved in the assault on Seb, but given your examinations, is it possible that it was only one person? That one person alone caused Seb's injuries? It is possible, yes. Thank you. <laughs> 